top three biggest games you wish you attended during the Renaissance Tour, which was this past year. For those new to the table, we were at a game every week. We got to choose. We're blessed enough to get to choose the game we go cover every week. And so some, some weeks it's easy. A lot of weeks it's harder. And remember that October 9th date. We were talking about it earlier today. We, you could see it coming a mile away. I mean, I think Colin and Jesse weren't even here yet. Colin and I, we did a show last summer where we had a graphic put together. And we, were, we were asked, what's going to be the best Saturday of the fall? October 9th. And it ended up being that way. So I'm going to start with that October 9th date. So remember, I believe I would have been in Dallas at OU versus Texas that day. The same day that's happening, they had Penn State, Iowa. So that's the first one. I wish I would have been at Penn State, Iowa. That's when Penn State went into Iowa City. They were, Jesse, I think they were still undefeated. All your hopes and dreams in front of you. Then you got the injury at quarterback. A lot of people, myself included, happened to believe that had the injury not happened, Penn State may go on to win that game. Who knows how the rest of the season turns out. But anyway, that's, that's not football. That's not the way it happened. And then Iowa ends up winning the game, come from behind fashion, and the field gets stormed. And so I had been at the Red River Shootout earlier that day. Can't be in two places at once. But I really had no way I could have been at that game. There was another game I'm going to get to in a couple of minutes that I actually not only could have been at, I was credentialed to be at. So I just dropped the ball for all of us. But that game I could not have been at. I wish I could have experienced that. I got one that's way off the radar for you here that I really contemplated going to. It was October 20th. I bet you have no clue where I'm going. It was a Wednesday night game. Coastal Carolina, they had come off that miracle run the year before. And then Coastal Carolina was, they were ranked top 15. They were undefeated. App State came in town. Or uh, they went to App State, so it was in boom. So I've never been to a game at App State. Always wanted to go there. Very picturesque. Looks like a screensaver. Their baseball field looks better than their football field. But Boone, North Carolina is nestled right in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, and I've never been able to go. So I want to get up there. And I've really thought about doing this, but it would have required me to leave here after a Tuesday show, go over there Wednesday, come back Wednesday night. It would have been tough. Anyway, so um, the regret is because Coastal got out to a 14-zip lead, and then App State comes all the way back, and they have a walk-off field goal, another field storming, and down goes Coastal from the ranks of the undefeated. This was a big deal. You know what I loved about it? It embodied really everything that's great about college football, especially those weeknight games, because a lot of times in the weeknight games, you are watching teams that probably don't have a shot at the playoff, but they know it ahead of time, which makes it all the more beautiful because they're not playing with this ridiculous, unattainable backdrop that some of these programs pretend like they should be playing in front of. Reality is most programs don't have what it takes to make the playoff. It's not a zero-sum thing. It's not like the NFL where if you don't make the playoff, you're a failure. College football, there should be a lot more tears to what we view as success and entertaining and worthwhile. Anyway, that game was worthwhile. And if you didn't believe it, watch when that ball goes through the uprights and watch that field get stormed. So I wish I could have been at Coastal Carolina App State. But the number one just critical fumble of the Renaissance Tour in an otherwise very successful season for us was Alabama at Texas A&M. This was, was this the biggest upset of the year? I think all things considered, it was probably the biggest upset of the year. Easily one of, even if you were to try and, you know, be argumentative. If you rank the biggest upsets, this is easily top three. Bama had, all, they had already barely gotten by Florida on the road, and this was the next tough road game for them. And they go in there, it's the 8 o'clock Eastern primetime game on CBS, a company that I work for, which makes what I'm about to tell you all the more embarrassing. All the way back in the summer, we had done a segment on this very program, and I floated this idea to you. And I said, you know, I'm looking at the schedules, and I'm seeing that Red River is a noon kickoff on that day, and then Bama at A&M is an 8 p.m. game. And Dallas and College Station, not that far apart. So even when you factor in traffic, we were going to be able to get to the game. And then as time got closer and A&M faltered, I think they had already lost two games and the spreads like three touchdowns. I looked at it and I said, I have been at so many games featuring Alabama where it's, it's a snooze fest late in the third quarter because they've already body bagged someone. I don't want to end up getting home at like 4 a.m. because I stuck around and watched a game that ended up being a blowout. And so I went to Love Field in Dallas. I got on a plane and I was in the air watching as the clock hit zero and Seth Small with his wife screaming her head off in the front row hit the game-winning field goal. 
and A&M beats Alabama. How did you guys have that queued up and you didn't tell me? So there, there's Seth Small's wife. If you're listening on podcast, let me do my best to describe the action here. Uh, this lady is apoplectic in an outside her mind, but hopefully joyous fashion. And there is the game winner off the foot of Seth Small, just inside the left upright. She loses it. Family loses it. And then about three, two, one second later, boom, she's over the wall. She gone. Goodbye. Family stayed behind. She stormed the field. Everyone stormed the field. Well, I was on a Southwest flight somewhere over rural Arkansas, second Arkansas shout out of the show. And I was sitting next to a flight attendant who was deadheading her way to Nashville. That's, that's what they call it when you're not working the flight, you're just trying to get to another city. This lady knows next to nothing about college football. She admits this, but she's watching it on my TV screen in front of me. And this lady goes crazy. She just wants to see Alabama lose. Apparently there are a lot of people out there that don't like Alabama. News to me. Anyway, um, apparently a lot of people on the flight were watching the game, unbeknownst to me, because when the game-winning field goal got hit, there were like 15 or 20 people that, that exclaimed simultaneous, varying forms of uh, joyous celebration, and I'd never experienced that before. I told you guys after that. I, I shared that story, and I said, you know, most of the time, well, if Alabama loses, I'm normally there, because if they've ever played someone that is within remote reach of them, it's a big enough game to where I'm there, because I get to choose which game I go to. And I was credentialed to this game and missed it. That's my biggest regret of the year. But in turn, I was in a social setting. You want to call a flight a social setting. And I, I got to witness a plane go crazy at that game-winning field goal. So Penn State, Iowa, Coastal Carolina, App State, and Bama A&M, those are my three biggest regrets. And may we all learn from that in the yet-to-be-named 2022 college football tour coming up. Right now, we're in the spring, which Colin today wanted to call reconnaissance season instead of renaissance season, because right now we're kind of just scoping the scene out. So uh, from, from me to you during reconnaissance season, I apologize for not making it to College Station that weekend. We will not let it happen again. 